Hi, so uh, we're going to go ahead and start to uh, customize our Joomla website. We've installed a template, and the first step that we're going to take here is that we're going to actually uh, start by, to customize the website, we're going to start by customizing the template. So this is kind of where we're headed. This is going to be the final result of a, it's, you know, a portfolio website. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to use all the different aspects of Joomla in order to make this kind of simplistic website, um, but it's going to be, you know, uh, it's going to show you kind of where you can go with it. Um, okay, so, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is customize the uh, template itself. So we've uploaded the template, uh, and we're going to go to Extensions, Templates, and then Styles to go in and edit the template. Um, when we first install a template, it won't be marked as default. Okay, so the very first thing we want to do is check this, the template name, the one we just installed, and we're going to click on default. This will make it the default template. So basically, if a page doesn't have a template applied to it, or another template applied to it, then it will use this default template. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the template, so, and we'll start making some changes. Okay, so in here are the settings for the templates. We have basic, presets, layout, menu, typography, or typography, custom code, advanced blog, and, a, and assignment, okay? So let's go down here, and you should make yours match mine for the time being. So we have sticky header is, is yes, fav icon we haven't selected, box layout is no, text logo is set to text, and then we've typed our name. Um, Body background is no image. We just have inherit, 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 and top left. And then we do show a footer, and we just have copyright our name there. Social icons, we hide. Icons of information is no. We didn't enable it. And then coming soon is no. Okay, so that's on the first page. Presets. You can choose any one of these. I chose the first one here, the light blue. Notice that corresponds to the text color here. Okay. All right, next on layout, there's quite a lot to do here. So, um, so essentially what we have is we don't really have anything on the top. Um, so we can really just have under columns here. It, so uh, we can actually just change it from add columns. We're just gonna make that all the way across there. So notice that we have header with just logo. If we wanna change this, notice we have module position here. We change it to logo. Basically what this means is that any module, and we'll go into modules later, that is assigned the logo position will appear in this section. Okay, if we, as we go down, we have this next section here. Um, I believe I added this row. Uh, um, so, uh, so, and we uh, called it slider, and then when we went in, we clicked here and we changed the, the name to slider. Okay, also notice that um, that we can also have some settings in the box itself. So this is kind of the section here, this column that we have here. And we can have many rows and then the columns that can be split however we want. We also have settings for the entire section. So in this case, everything is the same except we check this fluid width here. And notice what that's gonna make is this, in the slider area, notice how our slider goes all the way across the page. Okay, so the fluid width really makes a big difference. You're gonna notice that in web design, you know, these margins and padding and stuff, it's gonna make a big difference as well as the width. So padding is set to zero, margin is set to zero, and then we have fluid width. Okay, so make sure that yours matches mine here. And then we're gonna click apply. Okay, next we have title. The settings, nothing is set really uh, inside, uh, inside this section. And then basically the module position is called title. Okay, and then we click apply. And then finally, we have footer one. So notice we have a very simple layout, basically. All right, next one is menu. We don't do anything here, just leave it as is. Typ typography, leave everything as is here as well. We accept all the defaults. Custom code, nothing here yet. Uh, advanced, uh, we leave everything as is, all no's. In blog, we actually need to do something. So you need to go ahead and click show icon as no. Common engine disabled, enable share, social share is also no. Okay, and you can experiment with these things. And then assignment, we just leave it just as is, okay? All right, so that is all the template. And once you go ahead and save that, um, you should notice that if you reload your page, you're gonna, see, you're gonna see a couple of changes happen. It won't look quite like this yet, but it will uh, have changed just a little bit. Okay, so that is how we edit our template. 
Um, now, there are lots of different types of templates. This one in particular is, uh, is particular to this LT Personal, right? And it was made by, um, by L-Theme here. Notice that they keep, their, um, they keep their site link on the bottom. We can take that out if we like, but we'll leave it there for now. Uh, so basically, this was downloaded from this site here. All right. Uh, best of luck.